Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Kaiser Redux using a special sub-mod called Oroten Morgan. So, we have obviously the events on screen, if you'd like to read through the Anarchists elected in France, as well as Black Monday, as well as the payment of Bresk Litovsk operations, please go right ahead, in which, well, it is already February 7th, in which I've already gone ahead and done an Imperial Restructuring. Well, it is an undeniable fact that the German Empire is the greatest nation to ever grace the pages of history. There's always room for improvement, in light of recent shortcomings that are administration, we should look into making various policy changes and reforms for a better future. So I've already said that two mods we're using, Kaiser Redux and the Kaiser Redux Rule on Morgan sub-mob. We're also using, as to let you guys know, uh, Player of the Peace Conferences as well as the Station Tool mod, which is pretty normal for, uh, you know, me on this channel. But regardless, I will eventually someday play as the German Empire normally, as it's supposed to be played. Currently, we're go of course going to go down a certain path to get a certain minister that, uh, uh, <clears throat> was very good for propaganda, but if you like to read about the Great Berlin Stock Market Crash, please go right ahead. You can never escape poverty. And hopefully this one uh, will pop up very soon, but let's give it a few days, maybe first. Run on the banks, German citizens. Panicked by the collapse of the Berlin stock market, are rushing to make bank runs to withdraw their assets. The banks cannot afford to give out such sums, and many are in danger of collapse. Many clamoring for immediate government intervention to stabilize this unprecedented financial crisis. Close the banks temporarily. Give you the holdings, do nothing. We're all going to do nothing. And hopefully this will pop up very soon. Kuban asks for a bailout. Uh, oh, Hadrish. As much as I really want to read this one, I will read every single event probably for the German Empire when I do a normal German Empire run. But this is not it, so if you like to read this, please go right ahead, even though we love Reinhard Hadrish here. Kuban asks for a bailout. The government of Kuban People's Republic has asked us for a bailout. While we are currently trying to deal with the problem, our problems first, Kuban can be about an ally in a confrontation with Russia and open the caucus to us. And it's black gold, of course. Now... Uh, how you said People's Republic, authoritarian democracy? Um, help them a bit. I don't want any more political power. And come on, uh, Polish monopolies crash. And the week of Black Monday, some of our corporate interests in Poland have gone bankrupt. We now have received news that the Polish government, uh, ever irritated at our economic interests in the country, have moved to seize our corporate assets in the country, effectively removing our control over the economy. This is a disaster. And Black Weekend comes to an end. The situation hardly improved in the days following Black Monday, which was the start of what became known as a Black Week. Panic selling stocks reached an all time high as people tried to dump their stocks before they became worthless. When the stock Berlin stock market crashed or closed at the end of the week, the market was as dead as 11 major economic experts and top executives in Germany that had committed um, the good old thing of suicide. The German government had to act. We must reform the economy. Oh boy. Aftermath of Black Monday. The great stock market crash of 36, widely known as Black Monday, has already begun, had a massive impact on German politics, culture, and society. While the damage might never be truly known, let alone fixed, we should enact reforms and recovery policies to get, regain some of our lost capacity. So, with the red, or well, Rotten Morgan submod, to get the... <clears throat> A little bit of more communist love here. We'll put it like that. Communist love, or red love. Uh, basically, when we do all these focuses, uh, what we need to do is basically do everything that hurts our economy as much as possible. So, I don't think it really matters which way we go. I think I usually, I think the AI usually goes with this one. I don't exactly remember. Abad the Dienst is not bad. Gold Standarten, Gold Standart. And as you can see, the, the, someone's pretty laggy. So, at this point, if you'd like to read about this one, please go right ahead. Um... Allow them to continue operating. The Foud. Actually, the Foud. This happens in even Kaiserreich, so it's pretty normal. Which one is Foud? Social Democrats. Oh, Social Democrats. Uh, so there's a free worker German Union. Let them continue operating. I think that'd be okay. Uh, why Poo Poo turns on us? If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead as well. Because we got to keep pushing on ahead. And which one do we want? Do we want the gold standard? I don't mind the gold standard, but... Gehaltskurzung? Oh, man, this... It seems very, very incredibly laggy, which I don't like, but let's go liquidate unprofitable estates. The statesman Wilhelm Gorne has recently published an essay titled The Black Zero, The Need for Austerity, in which he demanded absolute balanced discipline, even if it means losing some companies depending on subsidies. The essay has found a lot of adherence within the populace, and liquidating a few unprofitable companies may be just we need to alleviate our expenditures. If you'd like to read about the Japanese troops garrisoning Tianjin, please go right ahead, worrying to say the least, but it is what it is. And yeah, like I said, this, this I'm not sure if it's just Kaiser Redux, I already restarted my computer once, but it seems pretty darn laggy. Almost so laggy that it's making me a little worried how slow this is, which hmm, maybe I have to restart again. I don't know. I'll be honest here. Like, we started off, you know, with in February instead of January because I had to restart the game, restart my computer, but even then, it seems unnecessarily laggy. Look at all that. Like, wow. That is, that is ridiculously bad. And I'm running on a computer that's not too bad, actually. Especially for Hoi 4, but... Anything else here? Super, super events? No. 
Ooh, seem direct control of the East Navy. Um, you know what? They can have their navy. We don't need it for now. Oh, look at Afghanistan. Oh, man. Someone got encircled. And China has collapsed. Hopefully, once China unifies more and more and more, the less lag. Uh, but we'll see what happens, obviously. Uh, all right. And we're, oh, oh, my gosh. Still a week left. Jesus Christ. Uh, not bad. Not bad. Uh, does Wilhelm... Oh. Oh, look at that. We can switch between the Kaiser and the Chancellor. The Halbstock of Terror. Okay, cool. With a devastating economic situation, many families struggle to earn their daily bread, and the social security net is strained to the breaking point. In recent weeks, the streets of many German cities have been increasingly terrorized by gangs of teenagers. These Halbstaka steal products from the markets and shops, and often money from the innocent pedestrians, or commit acts of vandalism to escape boredom and frustration. Few citizens feel safe on the street anymore, and it is clear that, that some in the government might meet might see merely as low-level civic disorder, and instead has the makings of total societal breakdown. My God, how shocking. How absolutely shocking. So financial troubles in the colonies. Some maverick politicians propose distributing more resources to the colony to the detriment of the German national, which would obviously not be popular. Eight of our factories will leave. Oh boy. Filling the needs. Tighten our belts. We can't help them out. Agricultural crisis. Um. There you go. You can have that. Uh, during the great time of crisis, the complacent agricultural sector of the German economy has proven to be particularly vulnerable to the economic downturn. With this in mind, several Junkers, oh, my apologies, uh, re representing the landed nobility of the Kingdom of Prussia, has asked for our protectionist legislation and state subsidies for the agricultural production. By imposing tariffs on foreign produce, we will be able to strengthen this vital sector of the Reich's economy and protect our farmers, unfortunately. Such, <clears throat> my apologies once again, I'm just trying to push ahead as fast as possible. Unfortunately, such measure is likely to cause further damage to the economy of our neighbors, dependent as they are on German markets for their food exports. The weak crop in Ukraine is particularly vulnerable, and choosing to enact protectionist measures might seriously damage them and our other agrarian partners. Protect our own peasants? Um, our country's falling apart. We will not risk our Middle European ties? Good. The Kenyatta Solf Affair. An unusual case has reached the highest court in the German state. Anti-colonial activist Jomo Kenyatta has brought a class action lawsuit against former African Stahlhutler Wilhelm Solf. The case has become something of an embarrassment as some of the plaintiffs are veterans of the Vell Creek. It cannot be easily dismissed. The claim that Solf's administration harmed them through policies of illegal land distribution or seizures, and even abductions and tortures all done with Solf's knowledge and legal little legal basis. Quietly, the Foreign Office has explained to the government that such things are common and necessary in our colonial administration. They strongly urge we cautious notion. Has no right to rule? What's worse that could happen? Will suffer greatly? No, thank you. The DKAEB approaches uh, bankruptcy. The Deutsche Kaiserliche Absinian Eisenbahn Railway was established in the early 20th century and linked Addis Ababa to Djibouti. After a series of German back expansions, now used mainly to transport ore from the Congo Basin in Middle Africa to Djibouti, because of the general economic downturn worldwide, ore is no longer being purchased at this rate it once was, resulting in fewer transports uh, for the DPAEB. The situation now has reached a level that the railway itself is nearing bankruptcy. Keep it running, running, keep it running. Bankruptcy? Who cares? It's you know, it's all you know, fake news. Oh, we actually removed a lot of civvies. We were doing pretty well with the civvies. I've not seen Franz von Poppen in a long time, but we're, we're still making a few civvies, which we'll need where we're headed after we have a little bit of a kerfuffle, as Alex Rumbo does like to say. Reparations from the Brest Litovsk payments. We also have, of course, Black Monday. My god, why is it so laggy? Is it is it because of the. I don't think it's because of the Roten Morgan submod. It can't be because of that. Yeah. Fruits of the Open Door, Imperial Pride, Quench Militarism. And also, I'm not running anything in the background, which would make it even laggier, but. We'll have to wait and see. Political power, we didn't need that. Stability, we didn't need that. Hopefully, we can quickly get uh, the Civil War if it actually will fire. Because I haven't had, don't think I've ever played in, as a Civil War in Kaiser Redux before. So, it's so weird to see France's red. Radical socialists here. And, of course, who's leading these guys? Annie Kenny's leading the Union of Britain. Help companies. Romania nationalizes oil fields. If you'd like to do that, please go right ahead. Many German companies have been hit hard by Black Monday due to an almost total stop of income for a week and are struggling to survive as the market has not fully recovered and they can't nearly cover their expenses. Maybe we should invest in these companies and ensure their survival. It must be done. Sacrifices <clears throat> are probably to be made. The syndicalist first move. The Reds are court needing to coordinate their activities, which are definitely aimed at the, the order which we have established in Europe following our victory in the Valkyrie. We must watch this meeting carefully and analyze its results closely. Watch them. Watch them. Cool. And liquidate. Let's see what happens. Wow. Yeah, I mean... Hmm. Well, at least China's falling apart, I guess. I guess Mongolia, too, technically, so... It's pretty weird when the game is so laggy like this. 
And not bad. Wow, look at Afghanistan. Holy, they're doing a... Holy crap, public soup kitchens. Since the recent waves of unemployment after the Black Monday, many people are dependent on charity work and soup kitchens. The churches and the Red Cross have already called for, uh, from all those who can afford to give either money or food as they can't feed everyone right now. Maybe we should supply soup kitchens and open state-run ones too in order to provide food for the masses. Tanner belts? Uh, or Costa Rica requires assistance. The disaster otherwise, has the otherwise quite little nation of Costa Rica when the ZKG has crashed hard on the Berlin Stock Market Exchange just a few weeks earlier, dragging the nation into a hole out which it will be unable to recover on its own. To save them from complete collapse, the small nations requested us a loan to bail them out. Sure, we'll give them some assistance tighten our belts. We will not let our people starve. Tighten the belts. Let them starve. Greek... Or Greece seizes German assets. If you'd like to read about this, please go right ahead. It's just Greek stuff. This happens to everyone. Apply sanctions to pull all businesses out. We're, we're all trying to cope. Just apply sanctions to express our outrage. Ah, leave them be. They're just doing what they can. As you can see, I'm trying to piss off everyone here. Oh, Communist France shows its true face. The Reds are clearly set to spread their poison as they've been de demonstrably shown during the last session of the elections. We must be prepared for anything. We must be ready. We get 10,000 more manpower. I'm not sure if we can actually do anything with that, but bailout for banks? Our government was approached by several bankers, which have assured us that without a bailout, they'll not be able to survive much longer, uh, uh, as many of their assets and forms of shares have been reduced to no value during the Black Monday. The biggest problem for the economy would be that with the bank's demise, almost all companies they have hold a majority of shares in will likely also go down with them. I tricked my grandmother for some pennies, too. It's a no. Of course we will help them. Nah, stability is just a... It's fake news, you know. Rise of the Vaz? Oh boy, that is not good for us, probably. Radio's pretty good, though. Let's grab some radio stuff. How are our tanks? Azalat. It would be very nice. And trying to get this one done. Oh, my goodness. Take so long. Not bad. Quench militarism does hurt us. Core population of 72 million people, which is not bad. Can I just see path guides? Oh, banks are starting to collapse. Oh, cool. Uh, it seems that the banks were in great danger than we had thought, and the collapse is now almost unavoidable. We must intervene. Nah, we good. We have some PP now. It's only minus 100% stability, guys. Like, it's not that bad. Um, this is just what America does every single time they play, or we play some, or regardless if we play some or not. In Kaiser Reich or Kaiser Redux or Kaiser whatever it is, there's gotta be another mod out there. Kaiser Reich, Kaiser Redux, Kaiser Tridux. Tridux. Tripart. Herbert Hoovy. It looks kind of not bad. I kind of like it. He's indecisive. He's an unpopular president. Wow, he's really bad. Minus 0.3 political power. The failed humanitarian. Expropriations. One solution for the mass poverty that is falling on us like a sickness is the idea of expropriating the elite, rich elite to feed the masses. This idea is obviously very unpopular with most members of the government, but could be our last way to avoid total chaos. We are not cynical sometimes. Oh, uh, yeah, why not? Oil treaty for the Mountain Republic. The Mo government of Mountainous Republic of the Northern Caucasus has offered us a new tre oil treaty. They want us to grant their resources, rights, and Dagestan for exchange for investing the country's fledgling economy. Though our purse strings are tight right now, the amount of oil that possesses is almost too good to pass up. How should we respond? The oil must flow. Who cares? And let's just grab extraction. Because we're always running out of resources, even though it's just chromium, which we can import, but whatever. We have a lot of PP. Let's see if we can spend our PP. Uh, maybe we'll go to early mobilization, perhaps. And uh, this is probably not going to go very well for us. Uh, I'll do that one. I wonder if we actually build more stuff because we did that. Eh, that's not bad. I don't think we'll actually be able to get there before we end up in a civil war, but that's okay. So I was told that maybe, or told, or I looked up, that maybe the civil war will spawn around hopefully October, maybe? November, maybe? We'll see what happens. Not bad. Suffrage's movement gathers strength. Lately, there's been increased momentum in the women's suffrage movement, which seeks to force the government to enfranchise women by giving them the right to vote and stand for elected office. In these troubled times for the empire, we must also be careful in formulating our policy response liable to cause domestic tensions. Granting the suffragettes what they ask would anger the more conservative uh, elements of our government, particularly members of the Reichstag, a body currently elected solely by the universal male suffrage. On the other hand, a certain refusal followed by reprisals may lead to further protests and rise, especially in more liberal states, many of which already permit female voting in regional assemblies. An offer from the Don Republic. The Don Republic has announced a desire for cooperation with the Kaiserreich. We definitely have an interest in the caucus, most notably being the oil fields. Our presence in the caucuses could also present, pro possibly prevent Russia from intervening in Eastern Europe. Sign the treaty. That's because we're supporting. Um, promise action, but do nothing. Women know your limits. Um, hmm. Let's see. Anger more conservative elements, particularly members of the Reichstag, or. For the rioters and protests. Let's have more riots. Know your limits. You know, I kind of want to do the other one. Give them absolute universal suffrage. Just because I would piss off a lot of people. But eh, we'll see what happens. Oh, wait. We're guaranteeing their independence? Oh, I don't want to do that. Oh, well. 
And then we show the console and his radio. Nah. Who needs stability? Like Arbeitsdienst. The contacts and friends of Groner in military circles have now proposed a radical innovation. For the duration of the crisis, recruits will be able to choose to fulfill half a year of military service as manual laborers and state service instead. While bad for recruitment numbers, this will inject so much needed labor into the economy. Much better consumer goods, stability, uh, production efficiency, cap and growth, output, and more resources to market. Could be worse. But apparently we can't do that yet. Of the council and the radio. The crisis has shaken the Germans' belief in the country. Public faith is key, so starting the weekly radio address to announce what steps the government has taken to combat the crisis will help avoid panic and keep trust in our administration. Finland leads Middle Europa. If you'd like to read about the white center of uh, China, please go right ahead. Finland has severed, severed the last ties of its ties with Middle Europa today. The government has chosen to leave our sphere of influence, citing the exploitative nature of the customs union. Any designs we might have had towards our country are, have, to have to be banned for the time being. Traitors. Quite a major ethnic conflict on Sri Lanka. Ceylon Island is settled by the Sinhalese and Tamils who have battled for supremacy in the island for ages. With Black Monday wrecking havoc on our economy and colonial administration, disobedience from the native population is becoming intolerable. Our presence on Ceylon, crucial for its supplies of rubber, is becoming increasingly precarious. Darn these nationalists. Oh well, the economy ruins. After our failure to deal with the aftermath of the Black Monday, German companies are going down in bankruptcy en masse. Workers are discharged in the hundreds of thousands, facing a new reality without hope. That'll just have to solve itself eventually. Ah, yes. Very good. Let's grab some of that too, because we can. That's not too bad. 40-day fo focus is so much better than, uh, um, what was it called? 105-day focuses, yeah. So I had to do this one. Finalize centralization, restore the Bundesrat. I guess for the, we'd have to eventually, oh, it's chancellorship, huh? We have to do one of these then, huh? Unemployed masses flock to the streets. German cities are filled with beggars and unemployed men in search of work. Many are selling all they own just to feed their families right now. Maybe we should have done something. Nah, they're okay. That's just all. That's all blown over. It's all blown over. So to do this one, finalize centralization, which is down at the bottom, restore the Bundesrat, as well as Polizei Aufgabengesetz. So it's either one of these three. This marks the point of no return. If you want to unlock Kurt von Schlecker's path, it's important that you don't complete this focus before the 37 elections. Restore the Bundesrat. Oh, that's cool. Embrace a Foud. We actually might want to do that. Actually, we might do the Eastern Provinces anyways. On the 7th, April 7th, 1917, when the war was at very worst, after the horrifying winter, turn up winter, the Kaiser promised substantial reforms in the abolition of three-day, three-class voting system in Prussia. However, he promised all that without offering an actual date. It might be time to remind the Kaiser of his promises. A sinking ship. If one were to look at the streets of Germany's, Germany's mighty cities today, you will see not the sprawling streets of Germany's fortune and victory. What you will see is unemployed men, families on the street, with tears in their eyes as children as they go on another day without warmth or food. If you look at the idyllic countryside of Germany, you will not be greeted with its mighty farms and the proud of generations who work them. Instead, you will see foreclosed farms with families with just their centrals on their backs using horses or public transport to go around to the urban centers for work. Many weeping as the farms their ancestors worked on to maintain were gone in days. Yet, yeah. The German Empire does nothing to alleviate the suffering. Too concerned with its own imperial confusion to help the average German. Black Monday for many Germans has finally pushed their heads out of the clouds as they finally see that the Empire cares little for them or their families. Such resentment has done the unthinkable. As people who once detested the Reds are now joining one of their many groups. If the Empire doesn't respond soon, there's no telling how far this resentment will spread. As dawn breaks, the Red Morning starts to approach. Oh boy, how about Easter promises? What's that, Easter? Ah, oh, profits. We like profits. Civilian factories from them, not bad. Keep building up, guys. You're doing a great job. Everything is going according to plan. You know what? Screw up. We need to embrace the thoughts. Oh, we can't do that, though, because we don't have the Social Democrats. Gosh darn it. Democracy in Prussia. Mao Mao. If you'd like to read about Mao Mao, please go right ahead. Does he think he is a white savior? Into China declares independence. They're surely not model colonial subjects. Uh, Institute of the Vedek Reichspolizei. Maybe we'll do that one, maybe. The syndicalist terror is nearly as bad as back in 1928 when the Reichsbank's Ka President Karl von Hel Helfreich was shot by a lone gunman. Back then, a countrywide crackdown brought me some measure of peace, but now security forces seem powerless. There have been proposals to found a new police force, the Verdacta Reichspolizei. The Verpo would work in the shadows to save us all from the darkness of radicalism, which we might take, but massive riots. Oh boy. There are massive riots breaking out everywhere across Germany after several speeches of prominent left wing politicians from the Bolsheviks to the modern SPD, where they all call for drastic changes. Mein Gott, it's 1918 all over again, said in Tag. 
the Communards established a socialist anti-colonial committee. The words have spread. The Commune of France, alongside other members of the International, have established a socialist anti-colonial committee. It aims to support the cause of Arabs in North Africa in liberating their homelands from the hands of the colonial powers. And so, our protectorate of Morocco, together with other members of the Syndicalist Internationals, received the Muslim Committee, informally known as the Socialist Muslim Committee. The body is coordinating with Syndicalist powers that uh, actions in the Middle East. Our intelligence reports show that there is a small influx in Egypt of Egyptian left-wing radicals who want to fight for the revolutionary cause while we're not at war with the Commune of France or any syndicalist country, we should be very, very cautious. Treason, plots, sabotage, oh my! Oh, come on, please. Let's keep going, keep going. Oh, look at that. The Italian Federation. An Italian... Wait, aren't there supposed to be Reds here? What happened here? Giovanni Messi. Oh, he's a non-aggression pact with them. Um... Wait, what happened here? Oh, Pius. Because I know the Reds are supposed to be in the south, but... Wait, hold on. How did... What? That is very weird. Okay, did he coup like the southern... I don't know. The Einheitsfront. As the German Empire falters in its ability to deal with Black Monday, the various rogue groups in Germany have, without a doubt, capitalized on this, bolstered by the long-awaited secret of international support. The three main socialist groups within Germany have drawn tens of thousands into the ranks by the day. While these groups have officially have drastically different ideas, their newfound support has drawn them closer together in unison against the main threat, which is a corrupt and tyrannical Kaiser and his cronies, which is why the radical wing of the SPD, the RAM, the FAO, the NMKV, and SNF have agreed to join within the United Front to better coordinate their efforts. This astonishing turn of events shows the threat in which the socialists pose to the German order. Whispers in even the highest halls of power to be speaking of possibility of open red revolt should the United Front continue to gain traction. If the Empire is to be able to start... It's start in getting its face out of the mud, which is Black Monday, it'll face significant challenges from this United Front in doing so. The Belgian Revolution... While we were busy but solving our own problems, Aldebert, the king of Flanders Wallonia, has been dropped, deposed, and sent packing by his people. Even though this is an outrageous event, we have to handle the situation carefully, as a war will hinder our recovery and may provoke a syndicalist aggression. They'll get to the new Belgian state, however, come up with a proposal of their own. There, of course, we send a treaty guaranteeing their newfound sovereignty and rebalancing our currently one sided economic system. In exchange, they would rejoin the Reich's pact, expanded their army beyond the first line of defense against a syndicalist threat. German holdings and companies would remain in charge of large parts of the industry, and special programs would temporarily be kept aiding German citizens in their integration into Belgium. Alternatively, the return home. Negotiate? Nope, we will not negotiate with terrorists here. We gotta get a little bit of action in our lives to make us feel a little better about ourselves. Right? That's exactly right. Go right on in. Kill every single Belgian you see. Hopefully we can get this done before uh, things pop out here. Let's be a little more offensive, shall we? You can force the attack into them. Afghanistan, not bad, not bad. Come on, boys. I, I, I didn't even need to play an Air Force. Hold on, let's play an Air Force first. Fighters, thank you. And we have some Junkers, which I actually want cast instead for this campaign, but whatever. Go right ahead. You should do relatively okay. Duplicate them if you can. Go, 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 go. And that'll be good. Alright, not bad. My apologies about that, everyone, but I restarted my computer, but now it's running quite a bit more smoothly, so when in doubt, I guess just restart your computer. So, Belgium is not going to be too much of a problem for us, obviously, as you can see, because we're strolling in quite and nicely well, but the center cannot hold. Increased reluctance of the Kaiser's government has only served to make things worse within Germany. As the ranks of the United Front continue to swell by the day, they are starting to get more confrontational as well. Strikes and protests are common occurrences in the Rhineland. Where workers in hastily formed unions have ground any production to a halt. Former soldiers and farmers in Bavaria vandalize government property and homes of the nobility to vent their anger towards and forward to the government's negligence. In Berlin, daily protests risk turning into riots as the police struggle to contain the citizenry. The troubles don't end there, however. Reports of new uh, militaries throughout the country imply that the Reds were preparing for something bigger. Rumors are even starting to circulate around the high command about potential disloyal elements with, a, with sympathy towards the socialists should they decide to take action against the Kaiser. A revolution in Germany, once an idea a few thought was unfathomable, has now become a serious concern. The Red Morning has almost reached Germany's doorstep. So if you lose some more but hey, it is what it is. Whatever. It's alright. Kill these guys off. There'll be no Belgians left alive. And we actually might be in the Civil War soon, so I'm going to say this a little bit. Ah, Belgium's dead. Very good. No need for a Belgium to be alive. 
Very good. Now, I do want to wait and see if we might get a oh, war stimulates the economy due to the war. Industrial production across several sectors has skyrocketed, and the workforce has endeavored to fulfill their patriotic duty. This has had a net positive effect on the economy by reducing the aftermath of Black Monday crash. It seems the economy is finally showing signs of life. Excellent. 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 Cool. And we might get the little event soon. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. And... Oh, nope. Come on. I don't want to choose a new focus yet. Oh, you know what? We might have to choose one, maybe. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, if you like to read about organizing youth, please go right ahead. I'm just going to just go and click on it. I'll actually read it when I actually play as this campaign normally. And... Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Come on. Oh, we got some Ozzelots. That's kind of cool. Let's grab some of that, too. Thank you very much. And we're trying to build some civvies, some millies, and all sorts of good stuff around here. Excavation 1 is very nice as well. Uh-oh! It looks like we have open rebellions. Well, if we wanted to play as a German Empire, we would, but it happened. The unthinkable has happened. We're facing an open rebellion stirred up by all sorts of leftists and left aligned nationalists from the Rhine. Several national Marxists, national Bolsheviks from the Norris, socialists and Bolsheviks in from, and from all the Western German lands. Unemployed Germans that sought to help with the Fowl and other syndicalist unions. Now, these unlikely allies have formed an all-united front and central command, already having swayed half of our working-class base soldiers and sailors to the cause. We face the biggest war on German soil since the Napoleonic Age, and as if it wasn't enough. The Vowel Commune has seized the opportunity to seize Alsace Serene, Forgotten Borderland. So what would happen, let's just say hypothetically, that, you know, what if we wanted to play as the Reds, which we are, but we wanted to do a really dirty thing, but the fate of Belgium. After a short campaign across the fields of Belgium, we now control the region and want to decide what to do with it. Belgium is a very divided country, and splitting it along cultural lines might make for less trouble, after, uh, make for less trouble afterwards. Military occupation all the way, because I'm about to do something dirty. So I'll be honest here, like, the fade and fade out, I actually... I'm deleting all the divisions. I don't want to have a, a tough war. Um, but, uh... uh for the, re the revolution has arrived. But, I've already tried this once, and doing the Civil War for the Rot Rotter or Rotten Morgan is actually not super easy, especially since we had here this here. But, yeah, fighting the Germans is not super easy. So, I'm just going to go ahead and do this as fast as possible, because I want to see what this focus tree is all about. This is why I wanted to play Kaiser... Ooh, Joseph. Um, Kaiser Redux with, uh, you know... Papa Gerbil, so. And these guys are all politically connected, unfortunately. So, yeah, I do. Yeah, I mean, it's not great that I, you know, delete all the divisions, but I don't really care. I just want to have a pretty good time, still in 1936, trying to get us to a unique focus tree led by Papa Joseph. What is his middle name? What was Gerbil's middle name? Gerby? Hmm. What was it? Paul Joseph. Was it Paul Joseph? Joseph Paul? I can't remember. Uh, it is 37, though, so we're going to go ahead and grab what? Planes? No, we need some... Yeah, we carry fighters. Why not? In the meantime, let's grab some more military factories, which would be very, very nice. And then some civvies. Unfortunately, we did lose all the rain, so... But I do apologize for earlier that the, uh... This episode was dragging as soon as it began, basically. Just because of my computer. Like, I had to restart my computer and such. Um, twice or three times, actually. So, yeah. Sometimes... You just gotta restart your computer, I guess. It, it sometimes really sucks, because my computer's not too bad. But, fighters. We'll get the carrier stuff later, but I want to use some casts. And before I forget, we're going to need a lot of guns. And we're going to grab some of this. What are we doing here? What are we doing? Just going to do that area, I guess. It doesn't really matter. doesn't really matter either. Ah, screw it. You both. There you go. Oh, they called in a bunch of people here, huh? Horses. Ooh, and it's Rome. Aren't you, uh... Dude who likes other dudes. I don't know him. Wasn't he that guy? I think he was. Whatever. Um, Dreadnought holes. We got a lot of stuff here. This stuff is all garbage. I want to use carriers in this campaign, so we'll go with that. We have no naval XP, so we'll keep all that stuff there. So make two carriers at a time then. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, actually, make sure we're making carriers. Carriers are more important than convoys right now. Cool. And make some infantry divisions. Don't even care. Good. Good. Okay, come on. I click fast so we get stuff done efficiently. Well, you'd hope so. Alright, so yeah, I mean, this is really just gamey. I should have not done that, but I, I, I don't want any more conflict. Because, I, like I said, I tried this off screen already. Fighting the German Empire as the communists here, or the red, the left faction, the red faction, incredibly difficult. Incredibly difficult. So I would not advise doing it like that. I'm just going to, I just want to get quickly here too. So, cops of the right spec. Kajrak is about to fall. Very good. Very good. Go all the way in. Oh, they actually have some divisions. Oh, well, German Empire's gone. And Belgium has fallen, too. Nice, 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 nice. No, Belgium's not going to get its independence. No, 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 no. Now we get to see what this is all about, my friends. Hopefully get a new focus here. 
Oh, victory. Oh, we'll get that very soon. Military factory is very good. Let's get some fighters. Actually, let's get the carrier planes first so we don't forget about them. Carrier interwar fighters as well as carrier naval bombers. Which we're obviously going to need some naval bombers probably too as well. Not bad. We want to use some tanks as well in this campaign. Get a lot more artillery. And uh, not bad. Not bad. Uh, it goes with two. So, the fall of Germany. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. The end of an era. Not bad. Up next, victory. We have defeated the Imperial forces and are now the sole government in Germany. Who knew? We did. Oh, we don't need that then. Cool. Victory. Bill Haywood, elected president of the USA. Let's see what he can do. And do we have anything else here? Oh, look at this focus group. Victory proclaimed. The Revolutionary Central Command has proclaimed total victory over the Imperial forces and called for a quick restoration of order in Germany. Already having signed a treaty with France to give up all claims on Alsace Lorraine in exchange for membership in the interna international. Meanwhile, rivalries and ideological incompatibilities are boiling up again, but also newly forged alliances have emerged inside the revolution. The ideological leaders of the revolution have already started to organize their new own new political parties for the upcoming first German Congress, and so we boldly go. Beautiful, my friends. So, when can we do the next focus? Oh, what do we have here? The fate of Belgium? Uh, after a short campaign across the fields of Belgium, we now control the region and must decide what to do with it. Belgium is a very divided country, and splitting it up along cultural lines might make for less trouble afterwards. Nope! Ah, now that's a nice German revolutionary government. Oh, national spirit. That does not look very good. Ooh. It's ready for its first congress. The marshal holds on, okay. The mask drops. Oh! That's gonna be a very strong red faction. We have no generals or anything like that. I may have to reload the game, maybe? Maybe, maybe not? You know what? Oh, no. The SPD holds strong. Karl Liebknecht, who already was one of the leaders of this first socialist uprising in 1918, has called for the SPD to once again follow his guidance on the way for a better German future. The old guard returns. Okay, so maybe we don't need to do that. We just kind of hold on and kind of wait and see what happens. Uh, we can grab some of that, too. And we'll get some more research and stuff like that, because we definitely need to do that. It feels weird not having any generals and no consumer goods factories to use. So it's very weird. Who's in power? Syndicalist. Tailman? I just want Papa... Papa Gobi. Olenhauer? Jakob Kaiser? <gasps> Joseph, Mr. Mr. The Interior. Ooh, Republican victory in Brazil, so... Oh, return communard lands? Uh, which one is that one? Uh, the German government has been discussing what to do with the communard lands we currently occupy. Land, which we have no rightful claim to. Uh, should we return the lands to our government our allies, champions of the masses? The FAO, the biggest worker union in Germany and often marginalized by the imperial government, for being the undisputed champion of the worker class, has called for a reorganization as a political party, which has caused e several internal problems because of the political rivalries of the high-ranking members. One of the biggest, still. One of the biggest. Actually, can we send you volunteers? I would love to send you volunteers, since we're buddies. Oh, wait, no. Who's fighting Algeria? Oh, it's... Oh, wait, it's, oh, it's you guys. Can I send you guys volunteers? Hmm... I can only send one division. Alright then. Not bad. Well, hold on. Come on. Air focus. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, fighters, huh? Maybe we'll get some air XP this way. You know, I think this is supposed to last a lot long longer. I'm not supposed to delete <laughs> the Imperial Forces. But, you know what? I'd rather be honest with you guys. So, uh, the FOP requests manpower. The workers' front of Patagonia, known as the FOP, has requested that we aid their struggle by sending them manpower and equipment. Soon they will face war with the Argentine government, and they will need to be prepared for when it happens. If they succeed, they can become a permanent foothold of syndicalism in South America. Oh, of course, you can have whatever you need, my friends. But at least we're getting some more uh, political power, I guess. Is this supposed to happen? Totally ruined economy. Well, oh. Syndicalistischer Marximus, the leaders of the authoritarian syndicalist Ernst Tellmann and the Bolsheviks Wilhelm Pieck have agreed that their ideological beliefs have enough in common to found a united front against the liberals and the nationalists inside the revolution. They've called for the, all of their followers to enlist in the newly found syndicalist Marxist party, the SMEB. SMEBD. If that will be enough to challenge the big ones remains questionable. We shall see. Cool. Oh, what guys are there? Nice. Alright, so we got all this. It's 37. Oh, it is 37. Nice. Let's grab some dispersed industry. I'm enjoying this now, finally. Oh, uh, we're going to see what might actually happen here. Ooh, fighters, thank you very much. That is A-OK -okay with us. Now, we do need some more naval XP, but oh my goodness, what do we have here? Okay, cool. Uh, you guys can go over there. You're looking kind of weak. That's okay. I'll throw you there, then. Uh, destroyers. Subs. Subbies. Subbies. 
guys with the chubbies. Let's uh, not, not, not go there. Um, you guys can train. You shouldn't be too bad. And we're gonna actually put you guys up. This is how I, I I've actually gotten to start liking the way I do my subbies. Because if they're in really small, tight knit groups, it's harder for enemies to destroy them. I found not always, obviously, but it it seems to be a little bit more effective at raiding when we do it like this. But who knows? Maybe I'm completely wrong. And yeah, and these guys aren't very good anyway, so. Oh, Mastro. Uh, I'll throw you guys up here, actually. For that, for that good. That dude, yeah. There you go. Not bad. Alright, so maybe we'll get some actual army XP here. Maybe, perhaps. Just because the war, the German Civil War, I mean, fighting the, the Imperial German forces, not easy. It's really not easy, and I don't want to do it. So, it is what it is. I guess, no. Oh, Gunther Hafner. Welcome aboard. Of course, maybe we were supposed to fight the Germans of war and have more events and stuff like that happen. Oh, the black sheep. Most inside the revolution consider nationalism beyond patriotism to a sick, to be a sickness. Almost, only most, though, not all of them, know. There is one man who managed to reunify most of the nationalistic groups during the Civil War already behind his banner. That man is Papa Joseph Goebbels, a man from the Rhine, a man er, er, early of sympathizer of Marxism, now having developed his own ideology called national Marxism, which is very from what from what most would call Marxism, instead calling for a partially nationalized social corporate economy to end class struggle by class cooperation. But he is also a man that cannot, could only be compared to the people like Valois, Dea, or Bukhara in France due to his furious nationalism, a man with hatred for a lot of things but a love for Germany unchallenged. He has announced today that he will take part in Congress with a new party, the MVDP, NMVDVP. Just give his delegation the worst seats, okay? What do you mean the worst seats? This is a guy who only wants the best for his country. What is wrong with you? Do we do anything here yet? Oh, yes. We're going to early mobilization. Oh, some divisions. Look at that. Not bad. So, really, this faction is not looking too bad. Look at that. Third International. Poland, I want to beat you. And by beat you, I mean love you. Would you like to become Marxists? National Marxists? Socialism is kind of cringe, man. Especially those of the national variety. But Marxism? Now, that's kind of cool. Especially national Marxists. Those are our favorites, right? Absolutely. Actually, at this point, just go ahead and do this. We're going to split these armies up into half again. I know we got a lot of different types of uh, infantry there, but whatever. There you go. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Give me you two, actually. Because you will become part of the new front. Against uh, the French. Because now with Belgium gone... Oh, never mind. We already, the French are gone. That's right. Ah, the Austro-Hungarians or Austrians or whoever they want to be. Whoever they feel like. All is prepared. We prepared everything for the upcoming Congress. Shelter, food, meeting rooms, of all of it. The Congress will take several days when it starts and subjects of all kind will come to the table. The future of Germany will soon be decided. Better start packing. Oh, boy. All right. Let's see. Actually, I kind of prefer this group, so we're going to go... One, two, three, four. Thank you. You guys go to that group. I didn't really matter because we're going to convert these guys to 40 combo with probably eventually, so thank you very much. Finally, we can do First Congress of German Unions. The Internationals organize a foul other German unions and workers' organizations to hold a first emergency Congress of German Unions so we can lay the first stones of a new Germany. I can't wait. Ah, it's done already. Thank you. All right, so can we do anything yet? Oh, we can't. Oh, the first Congress of German Unions. The revolutionary government has called upon the first Congress of German Unions in which every union, party, or political organization with more than 20,000 members is allowed to participate. The leading candidates are the SMEPED, which promotes a heavily Marxist-influenced form of syndicalism, and the SPDR, the radicalized wing of the SPD, which calls for a socialist democracy, but there are those other horses in the race as well. The FAU, which has lost a lot of influence thanks to the legal formation of leftist parties in Germany, and the MV, or NMDVP, which is led by Joseph Goebbels and is not accepted by other parties for its call of ultranationalism, promotion of traditional values, and the call for a national rebirth. Rocker, huh? You know we gotta go, Gerby. Gerby? Like the pink Kirby. Oh, Papa. G Joseph is here. I can't wait. Oh, I was gonna have so much fun with this guy. Volkstum? Ooh. Proclaim a victory over Judeo capitalism. I prefer Volkstum for now. While many paramilitary groups are aligned to and helped our party, we cannot let the chaos of different uniforms and hierarchies go on. Joseph Papa Gerbys has ordered all militias to disband and regroup under a new state managed paramilitary, the Volkstum, which will serve as a party security service and, and as an auxiliary force for the police. This is merely a precaution. Look at that flag. That is awesome. Oh, look at Mr. Handsome here. Attack bonus against France. Oh, oh the national. Oh, no. That's Wallonia. Huh. We already are allies, but you know what? Never put it 
Don't worry about attacking. Sometimes we will have to attack. I don't know. Words are hard. Uh, do torpedoes. Let's grab some of this stuff. Naval stuff. I do want carriers and good stuff like that, so. Hopefully Gunthfad here is learning quite a bit. Even though we still have no other generals, which kind of is not good, but you know, it is what it is. National. Jesus Christ, that looks so bad. Um, yeah, gonna lose anyways. Go to the mountains. You'll be fine. Oh, are they navally invading? Oh, that's not good. We have four XP. Air XP, that's not bad. Well, Morocco's gone. <laughs> Goodbye, Morocco! Just in case, I'm gonna help defend Marrakesh for now. Hope we don't lose his division. There you go. Alright. Oh, they're gonna die. But that's okay. It happens. Proclaim victory over Judeo capitalism. With our power seizure over Germany, we have finally defeated the Judeo capitalists. It's always the Judeo capitalists. Oh, those darn guys. Oh, they actually sent tanks down here. Look at that. Please don't kill me. I wonder if we could get over here first. Because I don't want to be the last division, like, dead. Oh! Austrian Rookers Republic. Hold on. Hold the phone. Hold the little red phone. Um, divisions, huh? I don't think these horses are very that very good, but, you know, we'll send another one. Why not? Nice. Do they have an airbase? Can we send them planes? No, we cannot. That's really stuff. Well, technically, we can send them planes, but they have no airbase, so that's that really stuff. No! Morocco! No! Russia, not sir. Oh! We are a nice color now of German love. Yeah, German love. We'll call it German love, yeah. Yeah, no one will figure out what it is. Ah, uh, victory over Judeo-capitalism. No, guys, no, I can't even get there to help you out. Oh, Trias is there, though, look at that. We do have a cup of coffee here now to keep us nice and warm and toasty and ready to do well. All right, let's see what we can do with, about these guys. We might need a general for this, too. Gunter, welcome back. Uh, yeah, that's fine. You guys actually win there? Oh, yeah. Beautiful. There you go. Not bad. Not bad at all. Too bad now we're not even in Austria. <laughs> oh, look at that. Volksturm. More political powers. Very good. Mexico's joined the Entente. Well, hey, America's broken. Oh, actually, that's not a bad idea. Maybe we could help out the CSA. Because I've, mm, I've heard uh, that they're kind of strong. A little bit too strong, in my opinion, probably. Let's see what you can send Big Bill Haywood. Actually, is he at war with anybody? Two divisions, maybe, please? No, just one. Dang it. But yeah, that's alright. CSA, would you like some help? Hope Gunter's learning a lot. And next, form the Stasi. Oh, we love the Stasi. The FDJ, or nationalized FUPA. UFA. Uh, that looks like it gives us quite a bit, well, it gives us more stability, too. That gives us 5% from the Stasi. Germany is in need of an agency that will dwarf the Imperial Abwehr, the Kaiserreich, into irrelevance. The Ministerium for Staatssicherheit, or Stasi for short, will not only counter foreign and espionage and intel gathering, but also observe every foreigner inside Germany, as well as every of our citizens inside and outside of Germany permanently. Very good. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. Now, please don't die here, guys. This is very dangerous. Guys, if you could help me out, I'm trying to help you guys out, so that'd be really nice, please. Thank you. Come again. Oh, can we raise our thing thing up here? Hopefully. Ah, oh, so handsome. Anyways, good. I wonder if we could actually just. No, oh, these guys are doing really okay. Hey, our guys are over in Pennsylvania. Good luck, guys. We need a lot of army XP for this. Um, that's looking real bad. I need to play as a CSA sometime, and I probably will actually. Get to Pittsburgh, they're looking pretty bad. We don't like the feds. No matter the timeline, victory over Judeo capitalism. After a proclamation of victory over the Judeo capitalism, many of our followers and supporters took it as a green light to, uh, signal for escalation. And during the following nights, Jewish stores and houses were raided by disorganized militia and common people alike. Not really a loss, is it? Not a loss at all. Come on, guys, keep going. Do they have a board here? They. Oh, the Spartacate. If you'd like to read about the Spartacate, please go right ahead. It is what it is. You know, it happens every single time you play the Red Nation. Are these guys getting supplies? It seems like they're getting supplies. Or at least they're not losing, which doesn't make any sense. Well, they're dead. 
Good job, Austrian. Good job. Thumbs up for me. Hey, you're getting attacked. Good. You. Well, we definitely need a general for you. Maximilian Stolz. Oh, you got a handsome and blonde. Very cool. Uh oh. This is not good. Go around him if you can. Maybe we can make a break for Bozen. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, actually, you hold because we will have to take that division out. Arkham of the Spartacade. We've got a few medals in the event, but not enough for our team to be the winner. Neither good, no bad. It merely is what it is. And what was that? Totalism unlocks decisions regarding soil and blood. Uh, is there anything else? Oh, national corporatism. What else do we have here in the focus? There seems that there's a lot that we can do here, which I like. What is this? Corporate dictatorship. Krupp have established a corporate dictatorship, eh? Okay, well, okay. RVA, national corporatism. Uh, it's not bad. Max Factory is the state. Alaska leads the union. Goodbye, Alaska. I assume he plays them. Division limit cap. Uh, we can't go down this side, which sucks. Not bad. I like this one. So, after this one, we'll probably go nationalize the Ufa. A great leader has always had a hand for utilizing the media and the skill of speech to sway his people for his cause. Now we will nationalize all media production and distribution and merge them into the Ufa, which will serve as a voice to our people. Very good. Uh, actually, let's go over there. It's, it's not good to leave positions like that, but whatever. Kill them off, please. Thank you. Keep beating back the feds. <sighs> Ministerium for Stash Sisha Heights. Come on, guys. Please hold as best as you possibly can. How many guns do we have? Not enough. Really, 35,000. Holy crap. That is quite a bit, actually. That is quite a bit. So we're using horses. So where are we? Do we do not have any divisions that will... Actually, we have tank divisions on these guys? we supposed to... Do we actually have surplus of tanks? Hmm. I just want to make sure that we actually use this for garrisons, maybe. So, garrisons. That'll be good. So these garrison divisions, go ahead and remove that. We don't need that there. And actually, you could probably replace it with something else. But just, uh, if we're going to spend 5 PP anyways. Just throw, oh, throw on armored cars. There you go. Save that for later. But for these cavalry divisions, we... Oh, that just got rid of that. God dang it. Just keep holding on for, for whatever we can do. I don't think I've seen the feds win in a long time. Dutch elections, not bad. Um, where are we? Are you guys... Uh, that is so sad. I wonder if we can do anything here, too. Verona, maybe? That'd be kind of cool. Let's go to Verona. I'd love to go to Italy someday. Now, uh, they do Venezia, so they... Well, technically, they shouldn't be able to get any... Supply, though, right? I mean... Well, especially once they leave it, so... You guys keep holding on. You're doing a great job. We love it, my friends. Dispersed industry is very nice, too. Good, good, good. And you did not see how much I raged earlier off screen. Help them out. Kill them off again. Austria's struggling, but they're doing okay. They're doing definitely okay. Some good volunteers. So, yeah, I can help them out, but I don't really feel like it. Actually, you guys are doing relatively okay beating them up there. So, uh, well, maybe not. Spanish Civil War. There's too many civil wars going on right now. But that's okay. You guys will head on down there. Uh, with the Spanish, I guess we can help them out too. At least hold the line, right? We did send in planes last time too, so... There you go. Not bad. They'll think it's more planes too, though. Could use a little bit more rubber. We got plenty of guns, so share the wealth. Share the wealth. Let's get a few more planes going, though. A few more planes. And we'll actually grab one thing of rubber immediately. Uh, we don't help those guys out. Indo Chinese Union, yes, please. And we'll actually buy one thing of chromium, too. Cuba. Eh, maybe. Is anyone else here? No, the Barate Commune. There we go. That's a little better. Start raking up those uh, convoys. I can't think. Maybe a bigger navy. Did you guys already train? You did. Good job, guys. You guys? Are you guys all trained? They are. Wow. All right. We need more naval XP then. Oh, look at this. Heinz Müller. 
I, he's smoking a cigarette. Dude, don't smoke cigarettes. Pipes are cool, so we gotta go with that guy. Holy crap, we're actually doing relatively... Wow. Oh, what has happened here? Dude, you can probably just go straight for Vienna, maybe? That'd be really cool. Mm, grab some of that, too. Depth charges are pretty important. Nationalize Ufa. With found the FTJ. To ensure national survival now and in the times to come, we need better Germans. Germans forge with hardship and discipline, and for that very reason, we will outlaw all youth organizations and replace them with one state-run youth organization. Good. Love it. Nothing wrong could ever come from that. But seriously, let's keep killing these guys off. Oh, boy. Now they are trapped. And we will destroy the soldiers on this side if we can. Which hopefully we can. Hope we get more generals. Probably use a few more generals, but we can grab one more. Why not? It's only 10 pinnacle power. Adolf Becker. Adolf, Adolf, Adolf. War propaganda would not be bad either. I think I'm going to save it for one of these guys, though. Owen Rommel, eh? Oh, they're actually attacking us. How sad. Oh, you guys did a great job. All right, then. How are we doing on the syndicate front? Eh, it's not great, but it could be a lot worse. Fuel is going to be a, probably a major issue for us. But we're doing okay. Let's get some military police snacks, because we will need some police. We love the police if they align with our values. Mm, Bozen, get Bozen. If they have no supply, no victory points there, that'd be really good. Come on, you should move faster than that. Oh, you did it. Good job. Hmm, doesn't look like we're really winning since they're like oil experiments. Start hurting them. There you go. Very good. The new German cinema. After the revolution that freed Germany from the Kaiser, the German film industry wasn't in the best position. Whereas German cinema was largely considered to be on par with Hollywood, with both blockbuster and avant-garde productions, a violent conflict in Germany ground any production to a complete halt. Studios were destroyed, talent either died or fled, and an important medium of German entertainment and culture suffered because of it. However, the NMDVP hopes to change all that through the nationalization and consolidation of the UFA. This new nationalization will see UFA gain massive state funding to rebuild the German film industry while consolidating any remaining non-independent German studios into the company. With its HQ station in Babelsberg, outside of Berlin, what the NMDVP hopes to achieve through this is to reforge the wrecked film industry back to the scale of Hollywood, while projecting the new German arts and values onto an international level. Even now, UFA has multiple projects in the works which can expect to see releases starting next year. On top of this, the UFA is securing agreements with friendly nations to screen their films once released. Aspiring actors and actresses come from all over are being encouraged to come to Germany to try to land a part in production, and directors and state producers constantly negotiate with nations of the world. So secure, exotic to secure exotic filming locations. The time has come for the new Germany to be projected on the silver screen. Help them out in Innsbruck. The Mozambique Bush War, very cool. And... Help them, help them, help them. Come on, get your butts moving a little bit faster. Oh, they were going to lose here. We should be able to win with these guys lowering their supplies all the time. Hoffner has been wounded, so be it. Sink it front. Hey, we actually got it. Look at that. Not bad. Eric Schulz. Oh, you look you look menacing. He's a... Man, I don't know, but can you really seduce somebody with that type of face? Maybe. I know I can't. But, oh, baby. Oh, mama. Oh, baby, mama. If we're both attacking, you might be able to do well. How's this going up here? Oh, we actually moved. Nice. Uh, if only we could cross the border. Uh, not today. Maybe tomorrow, though. Let's keep building up more civvies if we can. Five, twenty percent for military factory construction speed. Holy crap! Um, oh, five percent for both. I think we five percent for both. Just do crop. Yeah, I think we're gonna do crop. Twenty percent military factory construction speed. Insane. Boden und Blut. Gleichschaltung. Why not? The Gleichschaltung, or coordination, will link all parts and aspects of civil life and society to the party, its cause, and Goebbels himself. There will be nothing untouched by us left in Deutschland. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. It's, a coming, it's all coming together, guys. It's all coming together. Oh, so good. Mm, come beat us up, Austrian boys. Oh no, you're leaving. 
baby come back. You can blame it all on the enemies. No! You actually got in server, that's not good. Uh, we could remove that. I actually, I'm gonna say for our support artillery, actually. Actually, you know what? Sevarod, Crisis Resolve. Don't attack. Go here and just encircle them again. Now, that's not good that they're encircled. But if we move fast enough, they won't be able to do anything, right? Oh, there's a division still down here. How do they get down here? What in the world? Ooh, you might actually be able to do that. Maybe. Maybe not. No, you're not. Okay, so just go out again and hold and go even further out. It's risky. But you know what? Horses are meant to die, I guess. Oh, are you kidding me? We just got to go up here, too. How about you? How about we just... Let's go crazy. Let's go crazy. You and me, let's go crazy. We're going to capture all the VPs if we can. Giant risk. Probably going to lose these guys. But it is what it is. Keep them in place, guys. You're doing a great job. Herman Stolz? Yes. Uh, Mr. Smoker, please don't puff too hard when you get over to Graz. That'd be good. Don Republic, not bad. Let's go to Vienna, boys. You, me, and Vienna. And the Graz, and maybe Klagenfurt, perhaps. Go, go, go. Why are you taking so long? We do a slight bit of supply. Wow, it's so bad here. That's uh, because of enemy superior air superiority. Actually, can we send planes over here now? That'd be kind of nice. Planes? No fighters. Well, I guess technically... Don't really want to use these guys, but maybe we can. Go up to 50 minus 1. Oh, come on, they actually had someone in there in Vienna. That's stupid. He's sick or wounded? Oh, felt Fourth Balkan War. Very cool. Do Bolden und Blut. The soil and blood are just what our nation is made of, and we must safeguard it. Cool. Yes, we should. Now, these guys aren't very good. I'm not sure how these guys got over there, though. Like, this quickly? Like, broke through the lines and encircled us? That makes no sense. They refuse to kill off the Slovenians, though, so I'm not sure what's going on anymore. How do they have that much manpower? How do you guys have no manpower? Yeah, these guys are dead. My bad. I tried my best. Oh, the Black Revolt's here. Just give me your get supplies, then. Well, you guys failed so hard that I don't want to help you anymore. And we're out of uh, volunteers. I'm not going to send infantry over there. You guys were not very good. Oh, well, Austria will have to die. But hopefully we get some more air speed that way. At least let's get Spain under us. That'd be nice. And maybe the CSA? Even though the CSA is probably going to win anyways, let's be real. It's our number stored in San Zemur. Very nice, very nice. And we're there. Very good. There goes America, going kaboom. I would love to be able to do this, but we're probably going to get circled and die here. Yeah, these Austrians. Not very good. Just really pathetic. I don't know why they were so bad. Why did you lose all your manpower already, guys? Gunter, how did you get injured? I mean, I guess I could send up one more thing of volunteers, but they're going to die here anyway, so... Is there really any point to do it? Come on, guys, keep going. I just want to make another encirclement, man. We're really going out of our way to go around here, huh? War propaganda would be nice. Ah, better. Good. It's a little bit ahead of time. Let's wait on that maybe a little bit. Air doctrine, we're not really that far ahead. And let's do this. Grand battle plan. Uh, I'm going to do this. Fear of firepower. I'm not going to mess around with this campaign. You guys just got to hold here. You guys will probably do fine. If you guys can move. I don't want to get in circle, guys. But then again, we took the fort, so we'll be okay. And we got encircled, of course. Alright, well. Hello. Hello. No. Get out of there. Oh my god, guys. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is really stupid. Trying to help have the AI help. Not very good. 
Bolden and Blut, and hail the Volksführer. The town has come to finalize the question of power structures in Germany. Will the Volksführer Elsass, the head of state, head of government, and commander in chief will officially be merged into the office of the Volksführer? It becomes the Volksführer. Joseph Goebbels has summoned the title of Volksführer, meaning the leader of the people. For some, this might seem trivial, but it is a clear show of his own political power. Give more detailed political powers to Bernie War support? Very nice. Can't wait. Yeah, we've been abandoned by the Spanish. Guys, you could have helped out. Why the hell are you not helping out? This is what I get for helping out other nations. At this point, I think I'm done helping out. I'm done selling volunteers. At least we're getting some more army XP, I guess. But yeah, I'm done. I mean, I'll send you guys up here to like maybe like hold and stuff, but like, I'm done attacking. No more volunteers for the rest of this campaign. Wow. That's really bad. That's extremely bad. Don't ever rely on the AI. Yep, those divisions, that division died. Yeah, I'm done with C CNT. You can have planes. I mean, that's fine with me. These guys are gonna have as many planes as they want, but if they refuse to do anything, I'm not gonna help them out. So, but I think we'll be one more focus and call it an episode. Thanks a lot, CNT FAI. I literally fought and bled for you, and you did nothing. Why should we help out these losers? Hmm. I'll go with these. Guys. This one. Very nice. And what's next? Uh, Air Force, well, actually, that wouldn't be too bad, maybe. It's almost 38, so more soft attack. 15% more soft attack is pretty good, though. And we shall go with... What? Entrenched was not bad. I do like supply consumption reduction, so... But 10% attack and defense is not bad. I'll go with that one. I love artillery. I love, 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 love artillery a lot. Yeah, I'm not helping out the CNT FII anymore. They had their chance. They literally had their chance. They refused to ex exploit the holes. I mean, never trust a white for AI. But how, how are we doing in America? We doing okay? We holding off well? These guys are getting attacked. They have some Brazilians down there. Oh, the Black Revolt. I would hate to be down here right now. Let's see what they have. I've not seen them before. They're by Charles Young. Okay. Quartermaster General. Okay. Can't help them. I don't care. I'm not sending any more volunteers, so... I might send a volunteer here and there, but other than that, like... I'm really not interested. But, uh, Volks Fear Princip. Democracy has always been a fool's game. A mob of... A rule of mob by degenerates and nation exploited by Judeo capitalists and Judeo internationalists who sought to tear nations apart for their own game. It was what brought the U.S. to its current state of instability and Russia to its knees and paved the way for revolutions to take place. Which is why high ranking party members of the NMDVP and its aligned militias have urged Goebbels to draft a constitution and create a legislative body. Opposition will not have a voice in this new Germany nor opulent luxury to exist at all, but it would only serve to weaken Goebbels and the destiny of Germany. The newly drafted constitution of Germany bans all parties except our party, as well as all civilian organizations not aligned with within the party, or the legislative, judi judicial, or executive are no longer separated and the Gleichgeschaltet, while also merging the position of head of government with the head of state into the office of the Volksführer. Germany should only have to, have to heed to the words and decree of its leader. Only the captain at the bottom of a ship, uh, the helm of the ship, can only know what's best for it, not the crewman beneath it. From now on, the words of the Volksführer are written law. Deutschland Heil, Deutschland Heil, Deutschland Heil, Goebbels, Goebbels, the direction of the German future. Since its foundation, the NMDVP drew patriotic and nationalistic leftists and socially and economically left-oriented nationalists into its ranks which have not always gotten along very well. There have been even verbal and even physical attacks among the members of the NMDVP and the Volks Volksenat and the Young Parliament of the State. The left w leftist wing of the party calls for further cooperation with the entire left spectrum while the nationalist wing calls for more cooperation with the socially oriented right. As centuries are growing inside the party, Goebbels has to decide the future direction of all the of the party to end the endless discussions in the Volk Volkssenat once and for all. We will continue a course. Gain left wing national Marxist diplomacy. We are first nationalists. Oh, I forget. I think we need to go with these guys. I think we need to. I think that's where we want to go for these guys. Ooh, I don't exactly remember. Um, uh, if it goes wrong, I'll probably make a save just in case. What is this one? NVA. Okay. Skilled officers. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. But, continue our course. We are first nationalists. Oh, man. Right wing support. So, I think we'll just go with the first. We are nationalists, I guess. Maybe? Oh. Okay, so we're nationalists, national populists. Cool, regardless, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, uh, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Let's read one more focus, and then we'll see each other off together. Let's go ahead and do... Hmm. 
This one, Deutsche Arbeiterfront. Germany needs only one worker union, the DAF, or the Deutsche Arbeiterfront. A state-controlled union that would not only be a single union of workers, but also an organization tasked to improve the German workers' life and conditions. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.